friends and fellow vintage lovers. I've been a little bit under the weather the past day or so, but I was able to go out sourcing this morning. I hit a few estate sales and a couple of garage sales. So before I put everything away, I wanted to show you a video of what I have gotten so far this weekend. I'm hoping to head out again tomorrow. We shall see. And if you were at my live sale, my first live sale was yesterday. And I want to thank everyone who came by. But you, you've you already seen a couple of these if you were paying close attention yesterday. So I apologize if you don't want to see items that I showed in the sale. But I was excited about them and thought I would show them again in case anyone missed them. And as usual, if you do see something you're interested in in this video, reach out to me. You can email me at calypsoantiques at gmail.com or you can send me a DM at calypso underscore antiques on Insta. So the first thing I want to talk about is this amazing Fenton top hat. This is the biggest top hat I have purchased and I love it. I mean, how cool would that be for St. Patrick's Day? It's so cool. I think I'm going to flip it over so you can see how beautiful this top hat is. I love it. You know, a lot of people like the shoes, but I kind of like the top hats. I'm a big Stevie Nicks fan, so maybe that's why. I don't know. Okay, I also picked up these two pieces, and they are both bisque. They have no labels on them, but they could be made in China. I don't know. I picked them up because I thought they were cute, regardless of where they were made. Uh, this pretty blonde girl is holding a goose, and it looks like she's feeding it some sort of gruel or some sort of goose food. I don't know, but it's cute no matter what she's feeding it. <laughs> It, she's in really good condition. There's a little black dot here on that side, and I think it's some sort of manufacturing error because I've tried to clean it up, and it won't go away, but it doesn't really take away from how cute this piece is, in my opinion. And I also got this smaller piece. This is a, a cute little girl and two pink kittens. <laughs> kind of crazy, but that's kind of why I like it. I think it's really cute. I love her, and I love her little hat. I wonder if she's from the 70s. I'm not sure. I haven't done any research on those two pieces yet, but I just thought she was too cute to leave behind with her two. Well, I guess they're actually purple. Her two, her two purple kitties are adorable. I also got this today at a garage sale. Um, this is made in Mexico, and it is actually labeled that here on the bottom. I hope you can see it. As usual, I've got these lighting issues in here. Um, this is an ocarina or a flute. Very similar to a flute. Um, it does have some age to it. it. It got a tiny bit of a bath, but I'm going to try to clean it a little bit more. I think it's really cool, and the woman I bought it from thought it was really cool, too, and she was glad I was getting it. She was so sweet, she ended up giving me um, something for free and a magnet that she made, and I will definitely show you guys that here in a minute. I wish I had her information, but she didn't have a card or anything like that. I also got these two brass elephants. These are both made in India pieces. It's a plastic trivet, so... No damage was done to it by me hitting it with the giraffe. There is such great detailing on this piece. I love this giraffe. I love the pose. I love the texture detailing. Um, I think it's just really cool. And Brass is still in, guys. I'm just saying. That I thought she was really cute. And her baby, of course, is adorable as well. The baby also has a really cute texturing, you know, the giraffe spots, but I think these are fantastic. They're both made in India. I don't believe the mama has the tag, but I bought them together and they're meant to be together. So yeah, she doesn't have it, but they're made in India and they're quality pieces. You know, I think that a lot of times India doesn't get credit for making great brass pieces, but they really do. I also picked up this Screaming 70s trivet. It has these beautiful butterflies on it. 
and I love the floral detailing as well. I just think this is really cool. It's such a nice piece. But, oh, a little bit, um, well, there is a little bit of, of scratching on it just from normal use. But if you have it displayed or you have it down like this, you can't see it at all. I also got this. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so cute. I picked him up at a garage sale today as well. He's in excellent shape. Look, this dog is cross-eyed looking at the ladybug on his nose. Um, his spaghetti is in great shape. He actually does still have his sticker. It's just faded. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get that off um, over this weekend. Probably not today. But I was amazed at the shape he's in, considering his age and, and everything. He is fantastic. And look at him. He's so, so stinking cute. Okay, I also picked up this Francoma piece. This is a planter and it's a wagon wheel. I will probably be keeping this piece for myself. I also got this at a garage sale today and the person selling it was honest with me. I picked it up and I was carrying it around and she said, did you know there's a chip in it? And I said, no, I didn't notice it, which it's pretty obvious now. Um, but I told her it didn't matter because I was probably going to keep it for myself, but it does have Francoma here on the bottom. I know Francoma is not quite as popular as it was, but I think this is really cool. And I'm going to put a live plant in it, guys. I'm not sure when, but it's going to happen soon. And this is the magnet I was talking about. One of the women at this garage sale, um, I guess she really enjoyed talking to me. I'm not sure why, but she gave me something for free. And then she also gave me this magnet. She said she thought we were kindred spirits, but, um, yeah, I thought this was really funny. Why is the answer? What was the question? That's kind of how I'm feeling today in general. <laughs> okay, I also got these two magnificent birds. They are not marked, so I have to do some research on them. I just got them today, so I haven't had the time to figure out anything about them. I think they're beautiful. I think they're, they're obviously a tropical bird, but I kind of wonder if they're birds of paradise. I mean, look at those back feathers. So pretty, so much detailing. The other one is in excellent shape as well. I'm not going to pick it up just because I don't want to knock anything over. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this. So this is, this is kind of weird, but kind of cool at the same time. Um, these are two samples. I got these at a garage sale. No, an estate sale yesterday. And these are samples from a plastic manufacturing company um, based out of New York. You can tell by the, the font and the graphic here that this is pretty old. Um, it has examples of plastic beading. This is all still attached. I just thought it was kind of cool. I have no idea if there's any value in something like this, but I, I like it. And I like it a lot. Um, these are just plastic examples of, I would assume, the different colors of plastic that they manufactured. I haven't Googled them. I'm pretty sure Plastic Methods doesn't exist anymore, but I could be wrong. I just thought this was really cool. I don't know. I think Gina would like it too. But again, I don't know if there's any value in it. I just thought it was neat. I also picked up a couple of postcards at the garage sales today, and this is one of them. It says a tablespoon, but how funny is that? Um, this one has a name and a signature, but it does not say what year it's from. And the other one I got today does not either, but it does have a date on it, 1907 here at the bottom. But look at this graphic of these two ladies. <laughs> from a state fair it looks like yeah the butch fair i i cannot read today the light's coming in at a weird angle angle but it definitely says 1907 and check out that graphic uh this one has nothing on it at all great for junk journaling or even framing i think that, that tablespoon is really cute okay guys i also got this donkey planter look at how magnificent he is oh my gosh He's heavy. He is very, very nice. The quality um, in this piece is amazing. To me, it looks 1980s with the, the pastel -like kind of colors, but I'm not sure. I have not researched him yet. He is so 
cute. I was so happy when I found him yesterday. I absolutely love him. So cute. I also picked up two mugs, and I know I showed these last night. So again, I apologize if you're seeing things for a second time, but I thought it was worth showing again. Um, this is obviously some sort of Central American um, mug. It is handmade. It's just really cool. I, to me, it looks Aztec. But maybe it could be Incan as well. I'm not sure. But I just think it's really nice. It's also very high quality. Very cool. Okay, then I picked up this other mug. This is an owl mug. It is not marked. But to me, it kind of looks Odagiri-ish. Yeah, again, there's nothing on the bottom. There's a tiny scratch on his foot right there, but you really can't tell. <laughs> he is also cross-eyed. <laughs> the dog <laughs> and the owl. How funny. I'm just kind of showing, um, telling of what kind of day I've had today <laughs> that these animals are cross-eyed. Oh, goodness, guys. So, I picked this up. This is wood. It is a wood carved picture of a cat in a window, as you can see. It is so nice. I'm going to have to learn the different types of wood and how to um, distinguish them because I want to be able to tell you guys. It is signed here um, by the artist, 1989. It's just really, really cool and... If no one is interested in a live sale, I may keep it for myself. I'm not sure if it'll go on eBay. I just think it's really, really cool. Okay, this I don't think is vintage, but I love it. I believe this is another Made in India piece. This is a trinket box, and it has this beautiful gold filigree or detailing. But the actual uh, color inside is pink. It's just this really pretty color of pink, in my opinion. Um, it's in great shape. I think this is so cool. I'm going to have a hard time parting with this, guys. I don't know. Love, love, love. Okay, I also picked up this little pig today. I have not researched him either, but look at his face. He's so cute. I was kind of laughing because he looks like he has fur. Um, As far as I know, pigs don't have fur. You know, they just kind of have their skin, but he definitely has a pigtail. Look at that. He's also in really good shape. He got a little bit of a bath earlier, and he may need another one. There's still some dirt on him from the garage sale, I guess. But he's so cute, too. Um, there are remnants of a sticker, but it's definitely gone. I will definitely research him, though. Okay, I also found this purse, guys. This purse is so cool. Um, this is real leather. It's very vintage, very boho. I love it. It's in really good shape. It does have some wear, you know, down here, but that's just due to the age and someone having used it a lot. I think it's so cool. Oh, I just love this. I love the detailing. I love this handle or lock. I love the back. I just love it. This will be perfect for when I can start going to live concerts again. Just saying. Okay, and then these two pieces aren't quite as exciting unless you're a fan of Arctic animals. But I, I did pick these up yesterday as well. Uh, these are both resin pieces. There is no marking on this one, or there was, but it's long gone. It's in really, really good shape. It's really cute. I had to get it. I also got these two. These are two cute seals. It's funny that I found these at the same place on the same day. <laughs> I mean, they were random items. They weren't like in an estate sale home. They were at a thrift shop. But these are stone critters. And Gina actually had a stone critter in the sale yesterday, which I thought was kind of funny. I've never seen stone critters before. But these seals are so cute. And they're playing or they're smiling at each other whatever they're doing they're adorable okay guys so tomorrow i should have another haul video and thank you for watching this one i love making haul videos like i said i've just been feeling a little under the weather the past couple days so i should be back to my normal happy energetic self tomorrow i hope you enjoyed everything i've shown you and again just let me know if you're interested in anything 
And if you haven't already subscribed, please do hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. It really does help with the algorithm. I know I keep saying that. I know I keep saying it for a while. <laughs> I also want to congratulate Trisha, Sandy, and Otto for reaching 1,000 subscribers. I'm so excited for her. Yay! Here's to more sellers reaching that milestone. Hopefully it'll happen for several other people that are getting close up there too. And as usual, I thank you for your support, and I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Take care, Take care guys, and thanks for watching.